The only thing that's relevant from the last time we played this team is what we can learn about ourselves and how we matched up with them individually. They've made adjustments as well. We went into the last game plan based on the tape before our game. You know, you go through our game, there were things they did different than we expected. I don't expect to see the same team. They've been playing at a very explosive level. They're very talented. So we can't go in and, and just think this is going to be the same game. But they're going to make adjustments. We have to make adjustments as well. You know, all of us, you know, want to make plays and, and we want to uh, you know, do the right thing. We want to put our team in a position to win and, you know, in those split moment decisions, you know, you got to be able to, to understand the, the bigger picture and, and how each of those plays factor into the, to the game overall and, you know, the best decision on that play is, is sometimes to, to get rid of the ball or, you know, minimize the risk of a, of a bad play. The cool thing about a sack is it's really a an entire defensive unit getting that sack. If, if Cam and Fack didn't do their jobs, then I wouldn't have gotten the sack. And so that's what's cool about it is, you know, after, after it happens, celebrate with the team. Um, but that was coupled with a, a really disappointing loss. And so I would have traded anything to, to get that team win. That whole front um, is very talented. Uh, got some really good pass rushers, but Chase um, in, in particular is very athletic. Um, very uh, good lateral quickness. Uh, he moves side to side pretty well. So Montez Sweat, you know, Kerrigan, all those guys are really good. So I can't, you know, get too focused on one guy because I'm going to see multiple in a game.